we would be reaching the 10 gigawatt fully integrated capacity by 2027 end and uh, we are on track for that we are primarily into solar manufacturing our focus is to ensure that we give india the benefit of a completely integrated manufacturing ecosystem that not only brings all the capabilities within the country atma nirbhar but also allows us to have a good control on the supply chain and the pricing Hello viewers, welcome to Mojo for Industry and we are thrilled to be here at the booth of Adani Solar, a true pioneer in the solar industry. Joining us today is Mr. Rahul Bhutiani from Adani Solar. Thank you so much for joining us sir. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you. So Adani Solar stands as India's premier vertically integrated solar company boasting a substantial 4 gigawatt manufacturing capacity as of today. They provide wide range of products and services spanning the entire PV manufacturing spectrum. But that's not all. Adani Solar is currently in the process of building something truly remarkable, the world's first ever fully integrated and comprehensive ecosystem with a massive 10 gigawatt solar PV manufacturing capacity in the city of Mundra, Gujarat. Now let's delve into their presence here at REI Expo 2023. Mr. Raul Bhutiani will enlighten us on their exhibition offerings, showcased products and overall experience. So, uh, Mr. Raul, uh, exactly a year back uh, during the last REI, you spoke to our channel and disclosed the other, other is ambitious target of you know, setting up 10 gigawatt solar capacity. So, where do we stand today? Uh, we would be reaching the 10 gigawatt fully integrated capacity by 2027 end and uh, we are on track for that. Uh, between last year and now we have one significant addition we are very soon going to uh, start launch our two gigawatt ingot uh, manufacturing facility ingot and wafer manufacturing facility so we are progressing in phases we will enhance this capacity we are at four gigawatts cell line module now our two gigawatt topcon cell line is also coming on stream this month so totally we will have 4 gigawatts of module capacity, 4 gigawatts of cell capacity and 2 gigawatts of uh, wafer capacity. Uh, this will be increased to 7 gigawatts over the next uh, 2 years and then another uh, 3 gigawatts or so 10 gigawatts by 2027. So when you have this entire value chain under the banner of Adani uh, Solar, how the industry is going to get benefited? So see the whole objective or the vision that our chairman had about the uh, solar manufacturing business is to become completely Atma Nirbhar. So uh, while a lot of our raw material and procurement depends on China even today, our aim and vision is to get to a stage where we are completely Atma Nirbhar, whether it is for the key raw material like cell and uh, wafers or it is for the ancillary requirements like glass, back sheet, EVA, etc. All of it we want to manufacture in India itself. So sir, uh, apart from setting up this 10 gigawatt of capacity which is going to cover the entire value chain of uh, solar power sector, uh, what are the other short term and uh, long term objectives you have? Our focus is in manufacturing. So we have two different divisions within the Adani group. One is into manufacturing and the other business that we have is into power generation, renewable power generation. Uh, that business takes care of all the power generation activities. We are primarily into solar manufacturing. Our focus is to ensure that we give India the benefit of a completely integrated manufacturing ecosystem that not only brings all the capabilities within the country, Atma Nirbhar, but also allows us to have a good control on the supply chain and the pricing. Right. So whether it's your AGM or any other interactions in the public platform uh, for your CMD, so we see a lot, lots of you no know, aspirations for the solar power, especially the green energy sector. So how the group is uh, taking care of that, or how the group is entirely you know committing to that? So we are very, uh, our group has been and continues to be very focused on renewable energy. We truly believe that is what India needs for the future. That is what the world needs for the future to ensure that we live a greener earth for our next uh, generation. So uh, with that vision for, right, driven right from our chairman's uh, office, uh, the group has uh, increased its commitment and continues to increase its commitment towards renewable energy. So talking about the exhibition or your exhibition participation in this particular REI 2023, 
what are the product technologies uh, you are showcasing today? Correct. We are showcasing here the entire supply chain, uh, integrated supply chain that we have, we are uh, we are we already have part of it, and we are creating uh, in the future, starting from MG Silica mining to module manufacturing, the entire uh, supply chain as it moves forward. Uh, so that's what we are displaying here at our booth, uh, and it's very interesting how. Uh, mineral from the earth mg silica gets converted into a module which uh, which generates the electricity capturing the sun's rays it's a very interesting showcase that we have it is for general learning and for understanding by the entire industry and the uh, complete uh, stakeholders besides that what we have launched is the topcon product topcon modules uh, these are high efficiency latest technology modules that we are introduced in india for the first time uh, we are the only company in India that is manufacturing cells, Topcon cells, and uh, we introduce, we have introduced these modules. We will start shipping these modules from November. As yes, uh, Adani uh, Solar is uh, no, uh, achieving greater heights almost uh, every uh, day, or what sort of focus do you have for the sector? See, the solar sector is in for very good times. We have uh, Prime Minister Modi has given a very ambitious target to the country we need to do about 300 gigawatts of solar capacity creation by 2030 uh, the industry the all stakeholders are working hard towards it whether it is the manufacturing sector or the generation sector as in the, uh, the developers everybody is working towards achieving this ambitious target the prime minister has given us and uh, i believe the kind of number that we are looking out at for the next uh, 10 to 20 years the sector should have very good uh, potential to be able to serve the country besides of course the uh, economics uh, i think it's a very big social cause that the sector is able to will be able to achieve so thank you so much viewers uh, so here we were talking to mr rahul bhutiani no, uh, from Adani Solar, a company that is committed to set up 10 gigawatt of capacity, not only restricted to solar module manufacturing, but for the entire value chain of solar power system. Thank you so much, Rahul, for visiting us today. Thank you. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.